This is Bert Goldman and welcome to the Quantum Jumping Visualization Experience. In the last video, you learned something about quantum jumping and the way that it, the way that it feels. Now, I want you to learn a little bit more about that feeling. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take a visualization exercise that I did in a recent seminar. You'll get to hear exactly what 38,000 other people have been hearing over the past few months and years. I think you'll enjoy it. So what I'm going to ask you to do right now is just find yourself a nice comfortable place where you'll be undisturbed for oh, 15, maybe 20 minutes. I guarantee that after that time, you will find yourself relieved of any of the stressful things that are bothering you even to the slightest degree in your life. Stressful things that you may not even know are stressful because people after this experience generally feel 20 pounds lighter. Spiritually, it's an experience. It's a meditation, a guided visualization, and a trip into your first quantum jump. So do find that comfortable place where you'll be undisturbed and we'll begin. Ready? Here we go. All right, we're going to do a quantum jump. So just imagine, just go along with my words. That's all. They'll take you to a place. Now, eventually, you're going to have to take, go off on your own because each individual will have a different place to go to. But it'll be obvious. You'll know. But in the meantime, all I'm going to be doing is relaxing you, OK? So at this point, close your eyes, take a deep breath. And while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number three, three times. Something like this. Three. 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 Take another deep breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number two three times. Take another deep breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number one three times. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind. To reach a deeper, healthier level of mind at any time, just take an occasional deep breath. To help you to enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, imagine that you're in front of a black velvet curtain. You're very comfortable. Alongside your chair is a box with 10 white plastic numbers in it. When you place one of these numbers up on the black velvet curtain, the number sticks until you remove it. You're going to take these numbers one by one and put them on the velvet curtain. First, you'll put the number one on the curtain, then you'll remove it and replace it with the number two, and so on until you've put up and taken down the entire 10 numbers. First, the number one. Take your time. Begin. Relax. If you've not yet reached the number 10, take away whatever number you have on the curtain and replace it with the number 10. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind. You are now and always in complete control of your state of mind. You can open your eyes. 
You can be fully alert any time you wish to be. Every time you enter this relaxed state, know that you're getting better and better in every way. Whenever you enter this relaxed state, you'll mentally say every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. When you say these words, sense yourself improving in all areas of your life. Sense yourself getting better and better. Visualize improvements in your life as you mentally repeat the words now. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Visualize improvements in some area of your life. Relax. Relax your eyes. Relax your lips. Relax your jaw. Relax your head and your neck. Relax your chest, your stomach, your back. Relax your body. Relax your arms and hands your legs and feet. You are now completely relaxed. Repeat mentally, every day I improve my image of myself, my self-esteem. I am a unique human being. There's no one else on earth exactly like me. Every day I grow stronger in the realization that I can. I can think. I can create. I can do. Whenever you have a desire to relax and take a break from the stress of the outer world, recall what you feel at this moment. Recall how you feel at this moment, how relaxed, how at ease you are. Relax. Repeat mentally, my body rests and refreshes itself when I consciously relax. I'm relaxed now. My body is resting. My body is refreshing itself. And I feel better and better. Relax. Imagine now that a great light is engulfing you. Suddenly you are surrounded by a bright fog, a brilliant, bright, white fog. Imagine that this light permeates everything. You are surrounded by this bright, white light. Allow the light to enfold you. Concentrate on the light, the bright white light. You are in the center of a vortex of light, a great fog of light. It almost feels as though you are floating in the center of a cloud, a bright white cloud that is brightened still more by sunlight. Relax. Imagine that you're standing at the top of a stairway. There are 15 steps leading to a small hallway. At the end of the hallway is a large door. The door is closed. On the other side of that door is a parallel universe, a portion of an infinite universe where there is a twin self of yours, a self that can help you with those things that you have a desire for. Relax. You're now going to walk down the stairs a step at a time and slowly. Imagine that you're on the top step. Now step down to the 14th step, 13th, the 12th, 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and now the bottom step, one. Now slowly walk to the end of the hall facing the large door. The door is quite large, made of carved wood. Imagine it, create it. Imagine it that it has a brass doorknob. The door opens outward. On the other side of that door are an infinity of places, of times, of events, and of twin selves of yours. On the other side of that door are parallel universes. Anything that can be imagined is on the other side of that door. On the other side of that door are uncountable numbers of universes, like grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth, like quanta molecules, like endless atoms blown up into universes by incredibly powerful forces. And on the other side of that door are twin selves of yours who live out their lives in their own dimensions on their own planets. Earths, just like our own Earth, but with differences. For now, just be aware that all that exists on the other side of the door. In one of those infinity of universes, there is a past life of yours a life that's having a negative effect on your present life. By going to that past life and just seeing what is happening that has an effect on your present life, the burden is lifted. All you have to do is to view the scene as though you were there but invisible. Just imagine that you are in a past life, in a parallel dimension, a life that is holding you back because of some condition possibly karmic. There are those who say that if it's karma, then nothing you can do will stop it, to which I would say, maybe it's your karma to hear me now to overcome the problem. And who's to say it isn't? So for now, just kind of go. Go with the flow and pretend. Right now, just pretend that when I count from one to three, as I'm going to do now, you'll get more and more relaxed. One, just allow yourself to relax. Two, just allow yourself to relax and listen to my words. Three, you are more relaxed. Now you're in that hallway in front of the quantum door. And now before I count from one to three and have the door open, Think about a particular problem that you have, problem that you'd like to overcome. One, two, three. You are now in the small hallway. In front of you is the door, the quantum door that opens to infinity. In a moment, you'll be walking through that door into a universe where a past life of yours is now going on. There's no time in infinity. There's everything that can be happening is happening now. Anything that could be imagined is happening right now. The past life is a life that is holding you back in some way. It's a life that had instigated a problem for you. It may be something that happened in this life during your formative years, during the first octave of your life. When you go through the door, you'll see a scene with you as the main actor. The actor will be your twin self, your doppelganger. Whatever your imagination brings up will be the right thing. If it wasn't, you wouldn't have imagined it. So just view the scene. Maybe a scene from another country, it may not. Anything that you imagine will be what you are supposed to be viewing. Any problems that you are having at present have been instigated at some time in your past. It might have been in your childhood or sometime in your youth. It may have been of recent origin. It may have been something seen as insignificant at the time. But whatever you sense, allow it to come. Whatever you see, just kind of walk through the scene as though you were an invisible observer. Take your time. 
And now the door is opening. And what you will sense, what you will see is the source foundation, the fundamental, the original cause of whatever your problem might be. And now the door is opening, the door is open. At the count of three, jump or step through the door and you will be at this experience, a past life experience in another universe, a life that you have had in this a past time, a time during that life that is having a negative effect on your present problem. Imagine that, know it, create it. Use your daydreaming mechanism as you walk through the scene. One, two, three. You are now there, relax, take your time. Don't join in the scene, just observe, begin. As an observer, just note what's going on. That's all you have to do. You don't have to correct anything. That will be automatic. Relax. Now then, once again, same scene, but this time at 10 times the speed. Go to the scene again, begin. Imagine the same scene as though you were very quickly and fast forwarding it. Lickety split. Brrrr. Fine. Relax. I'm going to count from one to three and you'll be back in this universe, back in the small hallway. One, two, three. You are now back in the small hallway. The quantum door is closing. Quantum door is closed. I will now count from one to five. And at the count of five, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderfully refreshed, feeling better than before. One, two, coming out slowly. Three, count to five, your eyes will open, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderfully refreshed feeling better than before. Four, five. Eyes open, wide awake. So, how was the exercise? How did it feel when you went to an alternate universe? What did your alternate self look like? What did you sense? You know, it's all kind of a, like the daydreaming mechanism. Did you daydream it? That was fine. No matter what your experience was, we'd like to hear from you. So do use the comment box. But if you'd like the full quantum jumping experience, take a peek at quantumjumping.com slash products, and you'll see the entire process laid out very simply right before your very eyes. Again, I want to thank you for trying out quantum jumping and taking your first step into the alternate universe of the quantum jumping experience. Bert Goldman, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.